Okay. Uh, well, um, this is uh, uh, this is Rani Ahmed with you. This is uh, a lesson which is an appendix to lesson uh, number one. And uh, this lesson I'm going to show you how uh, to run uh, use scripts in uh, Windows, uh, mainly if they are a uh, command line uh, application. Okay. Now, uh, in, uh, if you go to, I say, I'm going to write it here to uh, the first lesson uh, uh, at uh, uh, minute uh, zero 02 okay and uh, second 12 of the lesson okay uh, you'll find that uh, I'm using a Unix command just to uh, make the script executable okay which is uh, something like uh, chmod and uh, chmod is me is meant to set the permissions of a file so one of the permissions are or is uh, the executable okay, plus x and I put the sp scripts name my script there's no file called my script here but I just understand that there's a file that I want to set as uh, a permission on it and it has a, uh, and it contains a TCL code so my script dot tcl okay now and and then to run it uh, under uh, Unix or any Unix whatever Linux Mac whatever okay so um, my script dot uh, tcl okay this is how we do it in uh, Linux However, the problem in Windows, we don't have such thing, and there's nothing similar to, I mean, you don't write this way exactly, that's why I've shown you, like similar to what you have here, and um, uh, many uh, Unix scripts which start with the interpreter line, okay, which tells this one, this line usually tells uh, what file is interpreting uh, or reading, the uh, lines uh, after it because uh, this one is supposed to uh, read the lines after this line okay and this is of course uh, represents the uh, path to the uh, interpreter executable so uh, next what will happen is uh, those will be interpreted okay right away so this line does not exist in Windows okay so what we have to do is find a way to make it work same way like you have you have to put something to tell that the following lines are interpreted by this uh, 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 this uh, interpreter okay so the way to do it is that I have here uh, windows on a virtual machine and to start is by opening Notepad and I advise you to use Notepad++ if you don't have Notepad++ you can use Notepad okay now I I have Notepad++ okay so uh, let's close this one so in this new file what I do is I get those lines okay copy and put them here on my new script okay the following those okay those lines are similar to what I have in the interpreter line as I shown you here please connect the uh, ideas together so this one is very much same to this one okay now same uh, effect I mean now next I put whatever code I like in a TCL so for example puts uh, hello world okay and I advise you to use on Windows active state okay just for you to know this is not uh, anyway uh, just use active states is uh, TCL All 
from actorstate.com okay to see our interpreter uh, for Windows that if I haven't mentioned that I'm just reminding you that to do this okay so this is puts okay and it will print uh, this line okay now uh, maybe I can say set uh, z, z, set x equal set x to be uh, maybe uh, three plus plus two okay and I put here for example express just to uh, three plus two okay and puts x now this is just something you that uh, this expression is going to value to be evaluated uh, evaluated as uh, 3 plus 2 which is 5 and I'm printing here uh, x with a dollar x okay now um, if you are uh, using a graphical user interface as your uh, like your code is going to use a graphical user interface so you will have to have just uh, associate the um, the TCL okay as uh, files with uh, the wish uh, interpreter which are then uh, default uh, by default I mean uh, they are uh, uh, associated by the active state installer okay now I'm saving this but uh, it's good to have this one it's not necessary which is uh, EOF which is end of file okay now once Windows sees this okay this means that uh, this is our end of uh, file and this is where the script ends okay maybe you can uh, I don't know I haven't uh, tried it but this is the end of uh, line I was thinking of maybe putting something like this one uh, after this one and that's it so I'm going to save it and this is how you save it control s okay I'm going to save it on my desktop and then maybe uh, my script uh, dot cmd it must be a command line script okay and I say all types so it doesn't add uh, uh, an extension like dot cmd okay you have to put it as a dot cmd now I save it okay now there's a problem I don't know how to uh, fix it it's not a big deal okay so I just uh, when I double click this it should print the output but to see the output exactly I mean you open the command prompt if you don't know how you can find it in your accessories or you can just simply type CMD okay and then it will open okay so this is CMD you find it the first one and then it will open you have to now now I'm going to close one now uh, you should know a little bit of uh, maybe some uh, uh, file, di file uh, exploring commands like I'm going to uh, on Windows like slash cd slash this is like as if I'm saying c slash and um, this desktop what you see is a folder so it has a location so it goes um, under users this is in uh, in Windows 7 but if you have uh, on uh, XP you have to say uh, documents this I have to write it's not, it's not existing it does not exist documents because you can use uh, the tab key to, uh, to do a uh, name completion and uh, settings okay then in the same fashion you will find your username so my current username here is uh, super Linux okay here see this is my current user name so I go to uh, super Linux okay and this is a desktop okay now I'm going to show you this like this is my uh, my username so if I click I mean here oh sorry sometimes like it shows you, you if you have set the settings uh, for this you see the complete path but just understand that this is my folder 
okay and uh, what is it okay this is computer this is C okay and this is the uh, users okay and this is the uh, username super Linux and therefore I have desktop and you will see the my script over here you should this is my script.cmd okay so this is what I'm doing here if you don't know uh, file exploring and that's it then because cmd and dot uh, bat files and dot exe are uh, like commands so what I do is that my script and just type tab it will uh, complete the file name for you and then that is uh, the uh, problem okay now this uh, eof is not uh, correct but this is uh, our uh, output so here I'm going to uh, fix this maybe add something like this that will be uh, fixed mm, sorry I remove it doesn't matter <laughs> Where is the file? Okay. So this is it. Okay, and this is how I'm, uh, maybe clear of CLS, and this is my script again. Hello world and uh, plus x uh, is two plus three, which is five. So this concludes our uh, lesson. Okay, and I hope you uh, like it. Uh, Thanks for watching. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel using your own U YouTube name. I'd love to see people uh, and you know their uh, usernames. Okay, uh, just to know uh, where are they from, so I can uh, deal well with them. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.